Greg Cosell weighed in this week um, on Trey Lance. And this is kind of interesting, I think. This is the quote on Trey Lance. He says, I would struggle to give a true evaluation of him based on the amount that he's played. I guess the question I would have about Trey Lance, and this is based on a gut reaction based on what the film shows, because I don't know that there's enough film. But the question I would have is, I'm anxious to see if he sees it quickly enough. There are coaches that think you can't, you can coach that. And there are other coaches that will tell you, Hey, if a guy doesn't see it real well, that just may be the way he is. Every pass play has a route progression, a concept with a bit with a progression based on an anticipated defense. There's a difference between predetermination and anticipation. That's just a question I have about Lance. Again, not that I've seen that he's been bad at it, but I'm very curious to see him do that as he progresses. So it sounds like Cosell at least is, I don't want to say skeptical, but he's not, he's not, he, it has not been proven to him yet that Trey doesn't play in this predetermined way and that he can actually see it and antis- make anticipatory throws which is next level quarterbacking. And that's a, that's a real evaluation. I think that's really, I think it's in, it's an interesting evaluation, but I also think it's one that kind of clouds the, the picture with Trey Lance. What exactly is he, does he, is he ever going to be able to, you know, be a guy who throws with anticipation or, you know, is everything have to be kind of predetermined and he's going to have great highlights, but huge negative plays as well. Um, I thought it was an interesting evaluation by Cosell. No, no, he knows, he knows ball. Like I I've seen a lot of his assessments and, you know, he, he runs the tape. He knows, he knows it. He's been in the game for a long time. So, I mean, you have to take what he says with, um, you have to really take it at, at face value because he does know a lot. So, and I think that's what a lot of people are trying to say about Trey. I think a lot of people would share that sentiment because there is an unknown. And that's what like Trey Lance is an unknown commodity. We don't know what we have, like we've seen the big, pretty highlights. You've seen, you know, the, the college film when he was in North Dakota that year, and it was like, oh, wow, when he's at the top of his game, when everything's working right, like, yeah, it looks pretty, but we haven't seen it at the next level really um, enough. So there's a lot of question marks, and he's like another prospect right now because, unfortunately, for him in three seasons, he really hasn't played much. And even before that, he didn't play a lot of uh, football. I think there was some crazy stat that uh, Tom Brady this year has thrown – this last season at Tom Brady, he had more pass attempts than Trey Lance in the last three years or so. So that's crazy to me, you know, that one season Tom Brady has all these attempts in his last year at 45 than Trey Lance has had. He's 22 years old in the last three, four years. So there really is a lot of unknown out of Trey. And, and I don't think that's a bad take from Cassell. I think he hit it on the head. We don't know. We don't know because he hasn't played. But at the same time, I think he deserves his opportunity. But then if he falls on his face, you know it was an L. If, so, again, if there is a trade potential, then maybe they're going to be like, I don't know, we don't know if we got anything out of them. And if the deal is sweet enough, maybe they pull the trigger. Because Trey, because I think this team, this front office is sitting there and they really want to win. It. They've been so close. What's, get them, what's going to get them over the hump? But the problem has been quarterback. So then it ultimately, like I said, goes back to Brock Purdy. Will he be healthy enough? And if he's not, if they're not getting a quarterback that could come in and write this system, and taking to the Super Bowl, then it makes no sense to me. It seems like, you know, Shanahan obviously knows more about these players than we do because he sees them in practice. He yeah. sees them in meetings. He hears their questions. He knows how well and how quickly or, or slowly they're grasping his offense and if they're progressing at the rate that he expects them to progress at. Um, so he knows better than we do about these quarterbacks. But um, I wonder. You know, if he really knows, you know, if what kind of player Trey is going to be, you know, because I'll say this, Trey's value won't stay the same. It will either go up because he plays well or it will go down because he plays poorly. Um, So, you know, if you think that he can't play, you might want to trade him. If you think that he can play and he's going to rebuild, he's going to build up his trade value, it would be stupid right now to trade him. So, um it's going to be an interesting off season for sure. 